Hey everybody, it's David from David in Progress, where we talk about financial independence and retiring early from the perspective of someone who is uh, actually doing it. Uh, you know, the video a couple weeks ago, which really got the biggest reaction, is where we talked about the five fears that we have, my family and I, my wife and I, regarding early retirement. And I consider that a bit of a foundational video. So this one, we're going to talk about things that we see, five things that I think are going to be fantastic in our early retirement. And before we get into today's content, I just want to uh, take a moment and say thanks. It, the reaction to these videos have just been amazing, which is very encouraging to me. Um, you know, it's really kind of weird to put yourself out on video like this. And uh, so, of course, I have some apprehension about it, it's getting outside the box, so to speak. But your likes and your subscriptions and even more importantly your comments and the discussions that are happening as a result have been very encouraging so thank you thank you now we can't ignore fear uh, fear is an important thing it's a natural thing that we all have you know we fear things and we fear failure however failure is important when I was a manager, I talked to my team often about the importance of failure, that I encourage them to fail. Uh, failing is good as long as you fail forward, as it takes you someplace good and you learn from it. Fear is also good as long as it propels you someplace forward that gets you to uh, someplace else. Fear can be bad because it can also push you down and put you into a hole where you cannot get out. That is why I often try and focus more on positivity. Where fear can push you forward or push you down, positivity can pull you forward and uh, lift you up. So that's what we're doing here today. We're talking about positive things. Now, my wife and I just got back from a fantastic trip and we spent some time together. I, I have my notes here where we sat down and discussed here a little Fairfield Inn, if you can see that <laughs> notepad where we talked about things that we felt could go well. And this is our vision uh, together. So we went to talk about it. So the first thing, and of course, uh, something that's all in everyone's mind, is that the money lasts. And a big part of that is a transition that we're doing, moving from a scarcity mindset, which I had for many, many years, you know, that I don't have enough, I need to be uh, saving more, I'm worried, whatever, uh, to more of an abundance mindset, meaning we have enough. Maybe we even have more than enough. And in our minds, it makes it okay to spend money to go on this uh, trip. It's okay to have that nice dinner that, uh, that was fantastic. You know, it's a very different uh, mindset. Our good thing is that we have an abundance mindset in these years. And we experience that abundance with the joy and anticipation of great things that we still have to do. But the second thing is health. Now, when I was uh, talk to people or when I talk to people about retiring early, they always come up with, what about health care? What are you going to do about health care? Well, we're going to figure that out. What if you had the opportunity uh, to make the most of your health? I'm a cyclist. I, rode, I love riding my bike. If you watched my uh, get out of debt video, uh, I was riding the mountain bike. I also ride road bikes. I, I love to run. And, you know, there was a time where I uh, ran marathons and I even did a half Ironman. Well, I've aged a bit and my health has declined a bit as far as my physical capabilities. Those days are kind of behind me. However, with the more time that I have now, I'm riding the bike more. I'm, I'm running. I'm lifting weights. I, I'm even doing yoga, which is really scary. You don't want to watch me do, <laughs> doing any yoga as unflexible as I am. But I am taking care of my health in a way that I could not do uh, previously. You know, you had the stress of working, the, the uh, time of working, and all that kind of stuff. So I see us, my wife and I, becoming one of those uh, wonder fit couples that uh, we're out doing activities, we're hiking, we're biking, we're doing all kinds of things and we're getting hit. Healthy, healthier. And that also reduces the need for health care. So uh, imagine you're not getting sick, you're not having issues because you're taking such great care of your health. More importantly, I'm imagining because I am in such great health, we can do those very long hikes, uh, those amazing trips that we have planned to do, hiking and those type of things, going to Moab later in the year. Oh man, that is going to be great. Being early retired actually can improve your health and uh, can make things better where you don't need that health care as much. You don't have to have that fear because you're doing something 
perhaps you were not doing before, which is taking care of your physical self. You know, the abundance, taking care of my mental health. Now with my health, I'm taking care of my physical health. So that was number two. Let's see, here's the third thing we came up with, purpose. One of the worst things you can do in retirement is to only retire because you are leaving something. You know, you don't like your job, uh, you don't like your boss, or you don't like, you can just go on and on with the list. And, you know, part of that drives you forward. And part of what's going to pull you the rest of the way is your purpose. You know, what is your purpose in this early retirement life? Our purpose, first of all, is being together and doing things together as a couple. And we also have uh, the purpose of our uh, family and being available for things with them. And then we have our purpose uh, to give back. And giving back to us looks like volunteering at different places. And then for me, uh, this video, doing this is part of my purpose. I feel like we really haven't worked that hard to get where we are. We made some minor sacrifices along the way. And if I can do this, if we can do this, if we can become financially independent and retire at 56, there is no reason why you can't do that either. Part of my purpose in doing this is to hopefully encourage you to do the same. Or as you're probably seeing in the comments, there's a lot of other people out there doing this and feel this way. And they're leaving comments and there's great discussion going on where people are helping each other. And that has become a part of my uh, purpose. Okay, the next thing is uh, to break out of comfort zone. Uh, <laughs> right now, I'm doing it. Uh, being on video like this is definitely out of my comfort zone. Uh, when you put yourself on the internet, you know, you got all kinds of crazy things that potentially are, are can, could, could happen. Heck, the travel that we just did uh, to Miami Beach and then also to some national parks was a bit out of my comfort zone. I'm a small town country boy, uh, getting on a plane, renting a car, uh, going to fancy places, really not my thing. But it's important to get out of... Um, get out of the comfort zone and do things you haven't done before. And I'm looking forward to finding other things that, uh, you know, maybe I wouldn't normally do that I forced myself to do, even if I only do it once, but it got me out of my comfort zone to do something that I maybe typically would not do. And the same goes for my wife. She talked about wanting to get out of her comfort zone as well. And then the last thing, and this comes from my wife, uh, her name's Michelle, by the way. Uh, she said her number one thing that she sees in the future is that she can look back and see that she lived life with no regrets. And man, um, yeah, that is a big one. You know, the, the I call it the uh, if thens and the when thens. Uh, you get caught up in that, you know, if this thing happens, if I get this promotion or I make uh, this amount of money, then I will do that thing. You know, I will buy that car or uh, go on that trip or whatever. And then the when thens, you know, when this happens, then I will do something. Uh, when I uh, am out of debt, then I will start saving. A lot of people never get past that. You know, they get stuck up in the, the when thens and the if thens and the why thens. And you just put a then on anything and they then themselves so much that that weighs them down. And the next thing you know, they're turning back and it's just a big old pile of regrets. Well, I don't want to live on a big old pile of regrets. And I hope, and, and if you've made it this far in the video, I'm going to assume you don't want to live on a pile of regrets also. I used to always talk about there's a reason why the rear view mirror is so small, but the front of the car is so large. You know, spend some time looking back, but spend the rest of the time going forward and do that with positivity. <laughs> there it was for me. The five things that I think are going to be fantastic about our early retirement uh, positivity. Remember, uh, regrets push you or fear that is uh, pushes you, but positivity uh, can pull you forward. And we're going to talk in great detail about that, uh, both those things in, in a later video. That's it. I very much appreciate you watching. Put down in the comments, love the comments. What is your vision of early retirement? Now, don't think for a second. I don't want to hear anything about what you think is going to go wrong. Tell me what is going to go right. Uh, encourage me. Encourage others. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And I look forward to uh, talking to you again soon.